John Duplessis, who fought for the world title against Julio Cesar Chavez. His hands full tonight against Richie Albrecht. Undefeated, 12-0-2. Minnesota fighter. Very impressive. They told me that I would be impressed with this kid, and I am. Nice kid. Straight ahead, forward, exciting style. Good right hand by him. He's found a home for that right hand in the last couple of rounds, and they are telling him, move in, move forward. Oh, Duplessis fires back after Albrecht gets the right hand in again. And that's what John must do. He's, he must get punches on his opponent's face. Right here, Albrecht is walking all over him because Duplessis isn't hitting him. I think he heard me. Richie Albrecht continuing to move forward. Duplessis backing up, content for the first half of the fight to counter punch. And when he gets on the ropes, that's where Albrecht has done his best work thus far. Yeah, and they want him to work when he gets Duplessis on the ropes. They want him more punches over there. Underneath, and then the left connects. impressed with this young kid. Only 14 fights. Already putting up a fight like this against a highly regarded John Duplessis. This is not what John Duplessis had in mind tonight. No, it is not. He wanted a knockout. Duplessis has gone 10 rounds, or eight rounds, and 10 of 40 fights. One minute left here in round number eight. The quest is swinging wildly. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Pressure makes many a men fold. Very hard to beat off that pressure. Richie Albrecht. He planned to pressure Duplessis. One thing, one thing you, you might do with a fighter like Albrecht is bring in some uppercuts. He's coming right straight in, coming at you. You have to do something to get him to stop running in so much. He's just walking right through Duplessis. Duplessis looks a little dazed. I mean, Albrecht wanted to pressure him to throw him off of his rhythm, and he has done yeah. that. And this is the danger of fighting someone like an Albrecht. You don't know what to expect. You don't know how he's going to fight. He's never gone 10, or he's never gone the long distance, so you'd think he'd tire out, but he hasn't. John, how you doing? USA. The day before St. Patrick's Day. As well, you would know. Yes. Absolutely. Right. A John good one. Scully. Tony Thornton. That potentially a good one, and we've got a good one going on now. Always hit the blue, it's a good one. This one is a good one. We're in Bay St. Louis, Mississippi. John Duplessis in the blue trunks, Richie Albrecht in the white trunks. And it wasn't that Albrecht was unheralded, it's just that nobody really knew much about him. They didn't know if he could fight or not. And you never know whether a fighter can fight or not until he does it. I mean, the big lights, the, the television cameras, I've seen a lot of fighters just get, let it go to their head and just get totally out of their fight plan. But he has not. He knew what he wanted to do in this match. And, you know, I rely that and uh, think that came from his corner. Certainly a lot of experience in the corner of Richie Albrecht. Albrecht continuing to move forward. This is the same pattern that we've seen since the beginning of the fight. And that is why I have Albrecht ahead. Yeah, yeah but he is in the backyard of John Duplessis. The crowd is cheering for Duplessis. I have to think that Albrecht has earned a few fans tonight. Absolutely. Win, lose, or draw, he's earned a lot of fans. I've got him ahead comfortably now. Stop pulling, stop pulling. It wouldn't be the most unusual thing for a decision to go to a local fighter. Really? Lo local. Uh, an, oh, good combination by both fighters in the corner. Flurry of action nearing the 120 mark. Martin Casino, the referee, doing a good job. Have not seen him at all this fight. But he have, we haven't needed to. 
Nina Fighter clinching very much. Albrecht getting off the counter and connecting. And the Plessis beginning to take the action to Albrecht. Well, the few times we've seen that tonight. There is the first clinch of the fight. Boy, busy pace from Albrecht. The combination from Duplessis and he moves. There you see the time remaining. Round number nine. Oh, that left did connect. I tell you, Albrecht seems to have a very strong chin. Duplessis has connected a few times tonight. Albrecht hammering on the ropes. Very tough as Albrecht. Reminds me of Troy Dorsey. Right straight ahead. No nonsense. Let's get it on. The look in his eye reminds me of Sean O'Grady. Very focused. The left connects from Albrecht. Oh, you're going to say Sean Wilkins, who we'll see next week. Combination from Duplessis, but Albrecht just keeps coming forward. And walking right through Duplessis. A lot of pressure. Oh, a lot of pressure making him work is Albrecht. Duplessis is raising his hands. And receiving boos right, from the Rick. crowd. Rick, this is it. Pull your drawers up and we're going to war, man. Did you hear me? Let me, let me have this door. Hey, you just get that jab. No, I don't want that on there. Yeah, but then I got the grease up. Great advice from Joe Doskowitz. Pull your drawers up. Let's go to war. I am told yeah. that you know we got to go right hand swing and right hand right on the chin. Do that double right hand. This kid gets stuck in He's... every corner. You got to get a little more meaner in there and the open up the combination. Rick, you got to you got to take it all off, but you got to do it by by balance and power. You got to be pulling with your hook. You gotta be fighting them with your jab and then dropping that right hand. A lot of things to do, but they're very excited over there in that corner. Well, for good reason. They have to be very proud of Albrecht. And Albrecht has done just what the fight plan called for against John Duplessis, a much more experienced fighter. Absolutely, and that, and that I think comes from his training in wrestling. He had a fight plan in this match. When I talked to him today, he knew exactly what he wanted to do. So many fighters you talk to, and they have no idea what kind of fight plan they have. They're going to do whatever their opponent doesn't do. You've got a plan to win these fights. Good right hand by Duplessis. Duplessis now fighting out of desperation. In the corner, and then Duplessis working his way out quickly. Oh, those middle rounds, very close. The early rounds, I felt like went to Duplessis. Middle rounds could have gone either way. And do you, as a judge, do you give more credence to the pressure that Albrecht has put on or the sna sh sharp, snappy punches of Duplessis? Well, the fighters certainly know it's close. Hammering away here in the 10th and final round. movement from Duplessis. Now, the movement is good from him. While he's moving, he should be punching, though. Looking as though he has won this fight. Richie Albrecht, clearly the aggressor in this bout. Good combination from Duplessis and good movement. Now's the time for the jab. The light shots connect from Duplessis. Just over a minute remaining here in the 10th round. And again, Duplessis finds himself in the corner. And Albrecht leaning on him. Wrestling him and punching him. Duplessis trying to tie up. Crowd chanting Super D. Now, thus far, this may be Duplessis' best round of the fight. Albrecht has been unable to connect, and Duplessis has been moving forward. Albrecht slowed down just a notch this round, sensing the final bell. There you see the time remaining, 20 seconds. Flurry of activity now. 
both fighters sensing the end. A lot of ring savvy for Richie Albrecht. Ring generalship, busy pace, concentration. Both of them flurry at the end, knowing how important that final round is. Good match. Plessis and Richie Albrecht. If Duplessis wins, he will have accomplished what he wanted tonight, except without the knockout. And Albrecht, even in defeat, would have accomplished what he wanted. Well, he was, says that Albrecht disrespected me by taking this fight. He wanted a knockout tonight over Albrecht. We'll be back with the decision in a moment. To our ring announcer, Mark Biro. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a unanimous decision. Judge Elmo Adolph scores it 99 93. Judge Freddie Steinwald scores it 97 94. Judge Chester Como scores it. 98-93, all to the winner, John Super D. Duplessis. Duplessis. Not a well-received decision here at Casino Magic. Not even close, 98-93, 97-94, Home cooking, and it burns. Richie Albrecht, who fought a tremendous bout tonight. His first time fighting out of his hometown of Coon Rapids, Minnesota. He came here saying, I'm going to be on national television. I want people to respect me. I want them to know me. And they know him and are supporting him very vocally here in Bay St. Louis, Mississippi at Casino Magic. He won this crowd over, Bill. At the beginning of this fight, everybody was cheering for John Duplessis. All the fans are here from New Orleans to watch Super D. But now they are a little unhappy at Super D. However, I don't know who Super D is waving to. Every time he turns and waves the fist in the air, that section boos. And they are booing, just disgust written all over the face of Richie Albrecht. He knew this could happen, but he wanted to put pressure on as much as he could, show the impression. The best thing for him, though, is that this fight was on national television. People saw and they made up their own minds about this fight. Richie Albrecht winning a lot of fans in defeat against John Duplessis. The hand goes up. And we know what the fans think here. But Albrecht obviously very disappointed at not winning the decision. Coming up shortly, the former heavyweight champion of the world, Larry Holmes, making final preparations in the locker room. When we come back within this corner,